l'eccesso di emissioni di CO2. The excess of CO2 emissions is the main factor responsible for the strong greenhouse effect which is causing climate change. In the world, more than 32 billion tons of CO2 are emitted every year for human activities like power production, heating, industry, agriculture, transportation and so on. About 6% of these emissions are attributable to the production of cement. This may seem a small number, but think, if we were able to eliminate these emissions, it would be like stopping all the fossil fuel-driven means of transport for more than three months a year. Can we live without cement, and so not be able to build houses, roads, bridges, hospitals and schools? We could consider moving cement production elsewhere, but this wouldn't be a solution. On the contrary, it would add the emissions associated with the import of cement to the emissions generated by its production. With the 2015 Paris Climate Agreement, 195 countries committed to reducing the world's CO2 emissions by 80% by 2050 a level that would be likely to limit the increase in the planet's temperature to under 2 degrees. The cement sector is also committed to this objective. During the cement production process, most CO2 is generated during the production of clinker, the basic constituent of cement itself. About 60% of the CO2 emitted can be attributed to the firing of the raw material, so-called decarbonation and the remaining 40% to the thermal energy generated by the fuels we use in that process. Today, it's already possible to reduce CO2 emissions related to the production of clinker by about 20 to 25% by using materials that have already been decarbonated and combustible containing a portion of biomass. To reduce CO2 emissions even more, we need to use innovative techniques, like for example those that capture the remaining CO2 present in exhaust fumes before being released into the atmosphere. Once captured, the CO2 can be processed and stored in underground storage or reused for other purposes, for example in the food industry, the chemical industry and for innovative materials. To this end, the European community has decided to finance the Klinka project involving 13 top organizations. The consortium will work in synergy over the next four years to install a pilot plant in the Butsi Unichem cement plant in Vatnaska to separate more than 90% of the CO2 generated from the rest of the gases. Carbon dioxide will thus be available for storage or reuse. To do this, a technology called calcium looping will be used. The success of the project would result in an even more sustainable way of producing cement, thus affirming European leadership in this area.